Hello, beautiful people of the interwebs. Welcome back. Uh, I have some good news. I have managed to remember to go in and change the time scale. Finally, um, I changed it from 20 to 10. And uh, if you don't know what that means, basically, um, the default is that there's 20 Skyrim minutes to every real life minute. So I've now changed it so there's 10 Skyrim minutes to a real life minute, which is increases the length of a day from an hour and 12 minutes to two hours and 24 minutes. In the reach. Which I think is about the time is an average session. So that should work out well. Oh, I did want to check the eyes. Oh, her eyes look all better now. So I wonder, you know, I did read somewhere, they still do the popping thing that they've done since the beginning, but I did read somewhere of somebody saying, Okay, I'm just gonna go in here because y'all are talkative. Somebody is saying of that happening and they had to save and reload and then it went away, but I couldn't find anybody saying how to fix it. There was one mod, uh, but it seemed to do a lot of other stuff too. Oh, is that candle smoke? Or is it just like fog? Where's Kosna? I'm not sure what that's from. Is that lazy from. idiot out drinking at the Silver Blood Inn again? On my coin? Yeah, he is. He's just waiting for the shipments, Lisbeth. They'll be back as soon as they come in. Oh, I'm gonna take no care of that. There are no scheduled today. <laughs> Stop covering for him. He's my cousin. Just give him another chance. Please. Fine. I won't fire him. But I'm doing this for your sake, not his. Um, and two other things. I have installed two new mods. Uh, the first one is Ars Metallica by Arthmore, and that is another smithing mod. And the main reason that I installed this one is because it gives you smithing skill advancement for doing stuff other than crafting, which is say tanning leather, uh, smelting ore, and just stuff that that is part of smithing and it takes skill. But for some reason in the vanilla game, um, it's, it, does, it doesn't advance your skill. So that was the main reason I got that. I, I think it, it has some other things too, like arrows and stuff like that. Uh, unfortunately, because I also had previously installed that more craftables mod, I'm probably not gonna be able to tell which mod has added which, but I'm sure it's all on their description pages. Just don't read that part about the content it adds because I'd like to be surprised. The other one that I added is called Radiance by Opage. I think that's how you say it. And that one is, it adds immersive encounters to the world based on the choices that your character has made and which quests you're pursuing, which quest lines you're pursuing. Um, it looked like it added really a whole lot of stuff. It hasn't been updated in like two years. And I'm hoping that that's because it's finished and, and not because it's broken. Couldn't really find any information on that. So let's, let's just hope. Um, so I have all these papers, like, don't forget to tell them this, don't forget to tell them that. And, um, yeah, okay. So, at least the beginning of this session is going to be trading and crafting. Because, um, as you might recall from last time, the weight is really high. I've got a lot of stuff that I need to get rid of, and a lot of stuff that I should leave at the Asteria, and I've got uh all of this stuff so there's going to be alchemy as well i don't know if there's gonna be more smithing or not i don't have like any leather and a lot of this dwemer stuff like the gyros the holder the levers the precision tools probably that sockets tonal rings all of this kind of stuff i'm probably just gonna go leave it at the asteria i'm not confident enough that i'm definitely not going to need it uh for any part of dwemerverse and I just think from, you know, from a roleplay perspective, Risha doesn't really know what these things are or what they're for. So they're just sort of like little hobnob bits that she wants to sort of hold on to and see if she can figure out what they do later. So I think it makes sense for her to hold on to these things. And then the stuff like the dishes and the cups, um, that's just stuff that she wanted to decorate her house with. Uh, I might just go to the Hysteria, pick a room and just throw it all on the floor. And then next time I come in, do the decoration because it'll all reset to wherever I dropped it when uh, when she leaves. And the urn too. I kind of wish I'd grab more, more of these. These are nice looking little things. And the fork. Look, do I have a fork? 
so cute. Anyway, yes, so we might as well uh, get started here. Hello! Arm Leaf and Sons Trading Company buys and sells anything you wandering pipes need. Well. No, I'm not Arn Leaf. I know, what have you got for Take sale? A look. Alright. I know you're not. Right. We did just have this conversation. You probably don't remember because I reloaded. Uh, yes. So, let's see if I can remember how to play this game. This, I do not need to enchant. Uh, disenchant, I should say. I didn't sell it before, I think, because I couldn't remember, but when I was watching back my rendered video, I saw I already knew this, so. I can get rid of that, thank goodness. Not my staves. I'm gonna leave that back at the Asteria as well. Yes, get rid of that. Don't need that. So many things. Oh, right. Yes. There are some capes that Risha will not wear. Capes and cloaks, despite the fact that they're lovely, it's just that they're in peril. And if they're in peril or they're a storm cloak, she's not going to wear them. Uh, and I didn't like that one. And that, that, that. I was thinking I will give Stenvar the tattered armor cloak. I wasn't going to give it to him because I felt like it was kind of disrespectful. Like, here, take the gross one. But, you know, he's been in a lot of battles and stuff. I think that it would be likely to get tattered um, before Risha's ever would. So, oh, you're down to eight gold already. And I already checked your inventory and you'll have crap because Come back whenever your store's you need something. in a mess. Look at this place. Look at this place. Ugh. Cobwebs everywhere. You could get that guy, that drunk, from the bar and maybe the he could... The selection seems small, but we can provide whatever you need. Just ask. It's mm, not accurate. Maybe you could clean up the cobwebs. That would be something good for him to do. Where's my cloak? I thought I was wearing it. I thought I put it on. Before. Yeah, it occurs to me, she really shouldn't be wearing her fur armor to do trading. We probably still own that room. I'm sure there's somewhere that she could hide, but... Might be able to sell something to this guy in here anyway. Come on in. The Silverblood Inn has plenty of strong drink and clean rooms. Yeah, I know. I'm going back in my room. It is still mine, right? Yes, it is. I'll be right out! Changed into the wrong clothes this morning. Oh, hey, I wanted to try wearing, oh, this. Look at that. Doesn't really illuminate me very well, but. And I guess it might be under her clothes. I can't see it. No. So where it it occupies the necklace slot, but I guess you can't see it. Anyway, um, put on the boots first, and uh, yeah, fine clothes. And she was wearing fur gauntlets like an idiot. All right, take those off. And might as well put that on because she'll be needing it later. And I don't see any point in putting on the Debella thing now because nobody's going to have enough money to buy everything she has to sell today. Are we dressed? Are we fully dressed? Just making sure. Father. Hello. <laughs> why do you and Mother fight so much? We don't fight, son. We, um, talk loudly. Yeah. Will I need to talk so loudly with my wife when I get married? To what are you, like son, five years old? Not. Hello? Hello? This is the Silver Blood Inn. I'll let you figure out who owns it by yourself. Still haven't figured out what that means, but okay. Um, yeah, did you, do you want to buy any of the stuff I have? Take a look. 
by any chance? Probably not. Oh, you could have a couple of my ales. Oh, look at all this. I don't need all of that. Goodness. Yeah, that'll do. Thank you. Remember, ale is cheap. Got it. Yes, yes, I haven't got all day. Well, you didn't have to follow me out here. Go on. Weirdo. What do you need? <sighs> right. Oh, maybe some of these people. Are, are hey, you doing you. business today? Yeah, you. Fresh meat for your stomach? The bloodiest beef in the reach. I don't know. What have you got? Finest don't try to haggle with me. Buy or leave. What have you got? Take a look. Oh, good bread. I was out of bread, I think. Cabbage soup? There's no meat in cabbage soup. Uh, I'll take the sweet rolls. No meat today. Thanks. Come back when you need more meat. Well, I Bring don't... gold. I did... Okay. Oh, did you need some? Are you? The finest jewelry in all of Markov. Oh, okay. Are you looking for a gift for a friend, perhaps? Or a lover? Uh, no. He's... It's my bodyguard. It's embarrassing. Um, do you want to buy some of my stuff? Have some really cool Dwemer jewelry. I got some wonderful jewelry. Of course you do. Okay. No, mine is more wonderful. Um. Uh. Oh, you have like no money. <laughs> okay, I don't even know if you can afford any mind room or stuff. Um. Yeah, there's that. Uh, pink isn't really her color, so you, you can have that. And then you're down to 18 gold. Jesus. You would buy a Dwemer actuator? What the hell would you do with that? Never mind, I don't want to know. I'm gonna sell the amulet. I like the necklace better than the amulet. And would, oh, you buy all the mining stuff. I see. Because you're a crafter. All right, that's it. I guess. Come need back something? if you need a new Shouldn't ring or expect... necklace. Oh, did you need something? I, I don't know. You keep asking me that. Jeez. Redguard craftsmanship in every piece. Yeah, she even melts down Dwemer scrap. Isn't that pretty? Pardon My me. Daughter pardon me. Daughter Coming through. Be a fine silver when she's so relaxing. It kind of, in places, I'm pointing at the screen, this doesn't help you at all, uh, but in places like at the top where it's uh, more blue than white, my eyes open. Damn dragons would swoop down at and any a little time. bit halfway down, it actually moves more like mercury than it does like water, but it's really pretty. Oh god. Well, that's what happens sometimes when you're not paying attention. <laughs> you're staring off, just slowly walking forward. Don't get too far ahead. No, no, I'm right here. Hello, fellow who's staring at me weird. Now, there was an. Well, that's not very nice. Bloody enough for you, outsider. Oh, you mean because of that lady who was killed? Yeah, plenty bloody enough. Then turn around and go back where you came. City doesn't need you, doesn't want you. Blood and silver are what flows through Markarth. Everybody keeps That's saying the way that. It is. That's the way it'll stay. What does that mean, blood and silver? It's right there in the name of the most powerful family in Markarth, the Silver Bloods. Oh, they have a whole now mine that in guy makes sense. to dig up sense. silver ore, get smelted by workers they pay. And they own half the city. Jeez. I work for them. The inn is named after them. Mm -hmm. When the guards make an arrest, they check with them first. Sounds a little corrupt. All right, well, 
Nice talking to you. Yeah. yeah. What a jerk. All right. Uh, where was that alchemist? I think I just bumped my head on that rock. It's a good thing she's got those horns protecting her brain. As much as she bumps into things. I think that's it over there. Woo! Oh, it's a little glitchy down there, but it's also very pretty. Ugh. She's really having trouble with that guy. Did I get a quest from her? Oops. Yeah, I should talk to her about her assistant. Here we go. Alchemist. You know what comes next, right? Alchemy. Lots and lots of alchemy. I don't think my ingredient inventory has gotten too bad, but it's, it's a bit heavy. Hmm. Oh hey, am I carrying any dragon bones? Are you? Denver, you can come in. Tears won't change what you've done. I was such a fool. How could I let him use me like that? We all get used, dear. It's living with it that makes you a woman. That, that was some weird advice. Um, you could come into the shop, but... You've been a good friend to me. That means something. Thanks. Uh, I just need to see what you have in your inventory. Sure. Feel so. free to hand me all the gold you want. I'll keep that in mind. No, you're carrying some cogs, though. Oh, right. I said it was going to give you the thing, and then I didn't actually give it to you. There you go. There you go. And then I'll take this one back. Uh, you don't need that. You've got two bows. Well, keep the good one. I'll take this one. Good, so good. Bread and mead. That's all a Nord really needs. Uh, I'll take these. Hopefully, I remember to leave them Lead behind. Lead on then. This is a this is a nice place. I don't see any cobwebs. So apparently, she's doing all right, despite the um. Forsworn. God, I was like the Falmer. No, the Thalmor. No. <sighs> okay. The Hag's Cure is here for all your discreet needs. Hmm. I like your face art. It's like henna. I have potions for disease, love sickness, irritating children. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um. Yeah, the Hag's Cure. That's. I'm not gonna say unique, but it's an interesting name. Hmm comes with living to a ripe old age. People start thinking there's something magical about you. Then, hmm. the insults. Still, a little knowledge of plants and potions can get you by. Not that anyone likes to admit buying things from you. See? Hmm. I even have a little potion for the steward. Mind handing it over to him? Just say it should solve that problem he has. Sure, I'll drop it by for you. They get a discount Thank for that? you. Um. Yeah. So, um, as you said, you've reached a certain age. Uh, what's your opinion of of Markarth? Hmm. We'd be better off without the Silver Bloods. They send their brute Ingvar to shake some coins from me every few days. And Betrid Silverblood is always asking for more potions to fuel Thonar's ambitions. Gives him a temper fiercer than any bear. Hmm. That doesn't sound very nice. You know, um, one of the other traders uh, that has the Arnleaf place, she says all of her stuff gets stolen by the Forsworn, but you don't seem to have that problem. Only that they break an old woman's heart. 
So many friends, so many kin. All lost trying to rebuild a past that was over long ago. Oh. That's a good point. Not all losses are material. Well, do you want to do some business now that we've had our chit chat? Got a pretty full stock of potions and alchemy reagents. Good, good, good. Got some rabbit stew, too. Um, yeah, do you have anything I don't know anything about? Wow! Really? Can't believe I have three unknowns on that. Hey, she's doing pretty good about learning stuff, eh? I might as well buy everything that she has that I don't know everything about, because I'm sure I have way more stuff than she's going to be able to afford to buy, no matter what I buy from her. I guess maybe I should do my alchemy before I do my selling. Do you mind if I use your alchemy station? Now you let me know if you need a cure or anything else. Okay, thank you. Oh, I have a button. Did it happen? Yeah, okay. I didn't hear it. I, usually it makes like a sound. And, like the sound of fabric. Okay. You can go get a drink or something. I'll just be here. Combining things. There we go. Oh well. Ooh, she knows so much. Restore Magica. Good to know. Good to know. Nothing new there. Right, I don't know anything about you. I have no idea what to combine you with. Restore health! Good, I learned something. Don't know much about you. Alright. Frenzy. Oh, I didn't learn anything about Dorn Oil, though. Human flesh restores magicka. Chris. Uh, sure. Eyes and ears. Why not? And claws. Nothing. Nothing. Eyes and feathers and a heart. There we go. Human heart got frenzy. Human heart got damaged magicka. And Irish saber cat got damaged magicka. So it is a frenzy potion that also attacks. I just saw that. Mm. Uh, yes. Increase the alchemy. You should be more careful with the men you pick, dear. No. He said he loved me. Real men prove their love. Words are as empty as the air they run through. Damage health? That, that makes sense. Yeah, see, that's why I didn't need to eat it. Because I was pretty sure that if I ate it, I would be sick, hence damage health. Got a lot of foam rares. Large antlers fortify stamina. Makes sense. Seems like you would make a performance enhancing potion from antlers. Oh, nothing there. Resist poison! Do farmers automatically resist poison? Uh oh. I guess that makes sense since they use so much of it, they built up an intolerance. Uh, a tolerance, not an intolerance. That's the opposite of what I meant to say! One more secret thing. What is it? I want to know. Whoa. Oh, isn't it? 
lock picking. Okay. Didn't really, plumbers don't strike me as the lock picking type, but you say so. Damage, stamina, regen. Great. Fortify Conjuration! I think that was the last one for that one, too. Fortify Light Armor! We're learning things today! So, oh, wow! Two small antler things. Lingering damage stamina and damage health. Oh, wow. Increases magic regeneration by 100%, drains stamina, 15 points for 10 seconds, drains health 30. Wow, that's a pretty good one. That is pretty good. Nightshade. Small pearl, resist frost. Uh, like a good resist frost potion now and then. Othella, I have a question. You want to know a secret of mine, young girl? The most effective poison to kill a man? A potion to make others fall in love, perhaps? I was actually just wondering if you had any family. Oh. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. You don't have to... Tell me if you don't. I have one. A nephew. He's in prison for being a member of the Fort Swarm. <gasps> oh, I'm no. sorry. I, I didn't realize. I didn't Don't know that be. either. We all make mistakes. That's so sad. I feel bad. Like I already felt bad bringing up the Forsworn because of what she said. Now I'm just like, yeah, that was a that was a horrible thing to bring up. Void salts, fortify magica, and help you resist magic. Oh, unfortunately, this one also damages your health, but can't have it all. Is that everything? Now I can just make whatever I want. Oh, I used up all my carry weight stuff. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Yes, please! Yeah, that'd be good. Oh, wait. I didn't look at that. I, I think that one might have been messed up. Fortifies carry weight, I kind of don't want to use it. Yeah. Alright. might be worth a lot. How about you? Alright. Awesome. Now, I can't press my other button because I'll change my clothes. <laughs> so, instead, I just have to, um... Uh, nope, that's not helping, so I'm just going to do this. I have to add 
add the ring to my alchemy set. I forgot all, why would I remember it after everything is done? All of that time, how long was I spending in there? And just like, did not occur to me. Uh, there, right there. Son of a bitch. Yeah, there we go. Well, that'll be ready for next time. <laughs> All that bandolier stuff, she always looks ready for an adventure. 